coming Thursdays, Fox will see you in court. I will prove, ladies and gentlemen, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that the accused, Gary Granville, with malice aforethought, viciously, savagely, and brutally murdered his own wife. Order! Order! She's a new kind of prosecutor fighting crime in her own way. So you lied when you said that you saw the accused in the restaurant at exactly 8 o'clock. I didn't lie. Objection, Your Honor. Prosecution is badgering the witness. Your Honor, I am just trying to get at the truth here. Objection sustained. Miss Fontaine? Are you, are you okay? Miss Fontaine, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Just you, you're badgering them. I mean, just a very little bit. Um, you know what? I, I might have said 8 o'clock, which technically isn't true. All right, you know, I'm going to have to advise you to watch yourself then, okay? You see what you just did here? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. Jenny Fontaine always gets her way. Ma'am, I'd like you to tell this courtroom the argument you witnessed between the accused and the deceased. Um, they were in the back of my cab, and Mrs. Granville seemed to have been drinking quite a bit. Anyway, they got to arguing, and that's when she slapped him. That is not what you said in your statement. Mm, yeah, it is. No, it is not. You said that you witnessed the accused slap his wife. No, I didn't. Your Honor, I have a signed copy of the statement right here in which the witness swore undeniably that... Miss, Miss Granville had been drinking, they argued, and, uh, well, she slapped him. Oh, uh, that could just be a, a typo. I mean, that, that's, you know, that's an easy mistake. To, I mean, she slapped him, he slapped him, if, if you're typing fast, you, you know. I move that this witness's testimony be stricken from the record. I agree. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Admit it, Mr. Granville. You saw your chance, didn't you? So you snuck out of that restaurant, you went back to the apartment, and you murdered your wife, didn't you? Stop! It was me! I did it! We've been having an affair. She wanted to break it off. I couldn't stand the thought of losing her. So I went back to the apartment and killed her. <laughs> or maybe not. I... <laughs> Don't cry. Uh, you know what? Come to think of it, I probably did kill her. Yeah, I mean, in fact, yes, yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I sleepwalked out of the restaurant in Cleveland to the airport and caught a plane back to New York. Hey, this could happen. Yeah, yeah, then I killed her, sleepwalked back, and got back to the restaurant in time for dessert. See, it's all starting to make sense now. Yeah, yeah she's absolutely right. I, I'm guilty as hell. Jenny Fontaine, emotional prosecutor, Thursdays at 9 right here on Fox. Er, uh, Wednesdays at night. Tuesdays? Whenever.